Hello and welcome to God's Minute. I'm Pastor Jonathan Conrad. I'm the senior pastor at St. Paul's Lutheran Church in Wilmington, North Carolina. Today we begin a look at Paul's letter to the Ephesians. I will read the passage and then give a little background on the letter and where the title One Way comes from. So let's get to it. From Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus by God's will, to the holy and faithful people in Christ Jesus in Ephesus, grace and peace to you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. Bless the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. He has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing that comes from heaven. God chose us in Christ to be holy and blameless in God's presence before the creation of the world. God destined us to be his adopted children through Jesus Christ because of his love. This was according to his good will and plan and to honor his glorious grace that he has given to us freely through the son whom he loves. Many of Paul's letters deal with a specific issue, but Ephesians does not. So we call this type of letter a general letter because it's sent out to the church as a whole. Ephesians is one of six disputed letters, which means there is a debate on whether Paul actually wrote it. It could have been Paul or it could have been one of his disciples. 2,000 years ago, it was not uncommon for a disciple of a famous teacher to write a letter in the name of that teacher. The dispute is around the content and the writing style. For instance, in Ephesians, you get some rather long sentences, like in chapter 1, verses 3 through 14 is one sentence. And there are also close to 90 words that appear in Ephesians that do not appear in any of Paul's other letters. Ephesians has something that many of Paul's letters have, division, division between the Jewish and Gentile followers of Jesus. So Paul wants to concentrate on merging the various lanes of thought traffic into one lane, one way. For as Paul writes in our passage today, we have been adopted by the same parent, the same father. So God has placed us in the same family, one family this one way, this one body, which is the church. And we are called to share in this mission and live lives worthy of our calling. We are not only called, we are chosen. As in God looked at the options and picked us willingly. I know what it's like to be picked last for a game of basketball or kickball. So to be chosen by God, by God's choice, that means a lot to me. And I hope that you, being chosen by God, feel the same way. Because being in the right frame of mind will go a long way since you and I are going to be in the same family for a very long time. And that will do it for me today. Thank you for listening. I will see you tomorrow for another edition of God's Minute. You take care and God bless.